Hi traders, this is Mikael Fuchs from BestStrategiesForTrading.com. Today I'm preparing the chart for the 11th of November 2013. I'm preparing the US markets. Um, first I'm going to tell you what kind of setups I'm looking at. I'm looking at a contrarian swing trade strategy coming from price action. Uh, it means uh, resistance from former peaks, resistance from former troughs, trend lines or the 200 moving average. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you some quick examples from the SPY, it's the S&P 500 tracking ETF. We can take this example, very outstanding. We have the peak from uh, the year 2000 and when the price comes up to that level again it bounces it and if you had a contrarian strategy for that it will have you would have uh, make a lot of money. You can also make it from uh, a trend line you connect several troughs and that line will uh, mean the resistance line for form uh, bounces in the future and you can also take it from the 200 moving average that's the most used moving average uh, among uh, a lot of traders uh, you can see here it comes down to uh, up to the 200 moving average bounce you have examples from here here and here you have several examples from where the price comes up to a level and it quickly bounces in the uh, opposite direction and also for your information I'm only looking at charts with uh, and daily average turnover with more than 10 million dollars uh, I'm picking up my I'm using a, a scanner an algorithm that I'm built myself in Metastock and uh, that's where I come up with my trade ideas if you want more information about how this contrarian uh, price action method is working and the psychology behind it and the technical analysis uh, how it works you can uh, of course watch my video a tutorial technical te technical analysis 101 and that's 100% uh, um, how it works from the basic. Okay, and take a look at the first trade. <coughs> uh, Vera Bradley. Uh, the price coming up quickly. I'm uh, looking at this point, this pivot. Uh, it's the high of 26.33. No, actually, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at a trend line here uh, connecting this peak to that peak and here we got the trend line and the exact price for that trend line is is actually when I calculate beforehand it's 2573 that's the level I'm going to use 2573 and also, next step <clears throat> before I put a trade on my uh, limit order list is to check for any earnings because you don't want to take a trade one day and the next day you wake up and you had earnings released before the opening and you are 5 to 10 percent on the wrong side of the trade. That's not a good way of trading. Uh, Rear Bradley does not have any earnings coming up. Okay, next chart <coughs> Ways Connection. Uh, this one is simple, you take the 200 moving average, will uh, make the resistance, and that's 40.22 for a buy limit order. And we check if it, it has any earnings, uh, waste connection, uh, nope, no, any, not any earnings. Uh, next one, when trust financials, uh, we, WTFC. Uh, here I got this high pivot up here and that's uh, 40 I'm gonna check again it's easy with the monthly 44.93 that's the level I'm using very close at the moment uh, check for any earnings no earnings in the horizon in the coming days next chart uh, x-ray this is coming from this high peak 
4784 that's the level for a possible bounce down retrace down and has it any earnings nope next chart <coughs> uh, need to change the daily and here we got a uh, 200 moving average 82.31 and uh, that's my level and I check for any earnings no not any earnings uh, 82.31 a buy limit order Cabot CBT change the monthly it's easier to and this is the high 49.87 that's the level I'm going to use CBD and the earnings nope no earnings in the horizon gonna make a problem for us CMA and we got this high pivot remember this is the monthly so this is the monthly 200 MA uh, so that's not a level I'm going to use I'm using this high pivot that is 45.84 for CMA check for, and you can check how the difference is if you take the da uh, daily this is daily 200 moving average I'm using the high pivot from uh, year 2010 uh, CMA any earnings any earnings nope no earnings next chart uh, DGX and this is where I got my 6487 that's my level for DTX. Uh, back here, uh, GTX Quest Diagnostics. Uh, no earnings coming up. Close. Next chart. Docs, Amdocs. Uh, we got a high pivot from. Here and then shift. Uh, we got a high pivot here in 2006, 4101. It's my level and check the any earnings? No earnings. <coughs> Next chart, All Republic. Uh, we got this. This is uh, not a very good pivot uh, peak, but it is. And then we have a level at uh, 7025. 7025. Pretty close at the moment. Uh, any earnings for all public? No, not any earnings. And that level was 1725. Next, we don't have any more. So that was all the chart I got. It was a total of, of uh, gonna show me, show you my lists. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten charts, and we got a uh, ASML at a buy eighty-two thirty-one. Uh, sell orders at CBT 49.87, CMA sell 45.84, GGX 64.87, DOCS 41.01, sell order, uh, Old Republic ORI 17.25, sell order, uh, VRA 25.73, sell order, WCN 40.22, that's a buy order, limit buy. Uh, WTFC 4493 uh, sell order and X ray sell order as well, short sell 4784. That's my personal levels. And remember, this is exactly my personal levels. So, 
uh, this is not in any kind of advice, financial advice, uh, that you should also do this um, by yourself. Uh, so if you in any way do any financial uh, transaction, do it on your own discretion. And remember, it always comes with a risk. Uh, and this is important. I'm using a 1.3% trailing stop and I'm using a 26 trailing target for all my orders. Uh, I'm going to explain that later in some videos. But that's for that's all for now and thank you for your attention and happy trading.